Welcome to Overtime. This week, we are talking about basketball. Finally, basketball season is upon us. We have a really good one out of the gates. We have on Friday evening at Westland High School, we have number one in Class 6A, the Westland Lions boys team, taking on the number one team in 5A, the Wilsonville Wildcats. Billy, are you giving the Wildcats any kind of chance here to, to knock off the, I mean, the reigning champs? I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, I mean, they can make the game competitive, I think. I mean, obviously, Westland, really big, really athletic. Peyton Pritchard leads the way at the point. Uh, you got Brooks to Bishop, uh, Will, Will Matheson. Uh, two big, very athletic guys that, that roam the paint. They go 6'8 and 6'7. And I mean, Matheson's a, he's a baseball commit to Stanford. So, I mean, that kind of shows you his athleticism uh, that he can provide. Another, another great guard is Jaden Grant. Um, I really think they're going to miss Anthony Matheson's produ uh, production. Um, they're they're going to have to find a way to, to maybe you know, go about replacing that by committee rather than maybe looking at one guy. I think I think Grant is one of those guys that can that can really help. But Wilsonville, I got to see them play against Churchill earlier in the season. Uh, fully expect Wilsonville and Churchill both to be in the final eight of uh, Class 5A by the time it gets here, you know, in March. Um, Tyler He played a tremendous game uh, against Churchill, as did Zach Reichel, as did Harrison Steiger, uh, as did point guard Sam Bullock. I think he kind of gets lost in the shuffle there. He's mm -hmm. a great point guard. Mm -hmm. I'm particularly excited to see what Zach Reichel does. You always kind of look for that sophomore mm -hmm. to junior year jump, and he was a prolific scorer last year. I'm not, I'm not willing to write him off against Westland right away just because both he and Reichel and, and Bullock, like you said, can score <laughs> from the outside, mm -hmm. and any team that can shoot that much can, can keep any game competitive. But hard to judge December basketball. Oh, yeah, 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 no kidding. And... Uh, Watching Reichel play, he's he's being asked to do more offensively this year. Uh, they don't have Jake Sunquist in the middle. He graduated, big six seven uh, centerpiece there in the paint. Coach Chris, Chris Roach knows knows what he's doing. I mean, he's one of the greatest coaches in five A. You know, oh, I mean, I'm not gonna say history, but I mean, he's gosh, he's good. Last year during the, the their five A playoff run, I asked Coach Roach afterwards. Uh, if he ever played any zone defense, and he looked at me as if I had just defended him and his entire family, <laughs> which I really respect. He's so anti-zone defense. You don't see that a lot at the high school level. I love it. I love that he sticks man-to-man -man, no matter what. To the uh, and they, they play it, too. They play great great man defense. A quick note about a uh, 6A girls basketball team that deserves a little bit of recognition out of the gates. The defending champion South Salem Saxons, if you expected them to regress at all, you are sorely mistaken. They are off to a 4-0 start, including one uh, comeback win over Jesuit, but they also had a comeback win kind of out of view of, of us Oregon media folk uh, last weekend up in Washington. They beat Lewis and Clark High School 79-77 after being down by 21 points with six minutes left in the third quarter. Uh, I have to get this right here. Danny Harley scored 23 points that included seven straight three-pointers. She also had eight steals. Uh, Avina Westbrook, whose name will be plenty well known by the end of this year, had 29 points, 9 steals, just one turnover. That's two comeback wins, one over the number two team in the state to start our year, one over a really strong Washington team. South Salem is very good. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and what's awesome about that is that she almost got her double-double points and steals. Points and steals. And one turnover. Man. Yeah. Billy and I could sit here and talk basketball all day. As a matter of fact, we'll probably turn off the camera and keep talking basketball. But that's all we're going to share with you at the moment. That was overtime. Yep. Have a good one.